Thanks for being here. So we've got a few questions here for, that the fans have written in, either via Twitter, or Facebook, or from via email. And the first one we've got is from a Lewis Ollington, who'd like to ask, who would win in a fight between Warren and Darren? <laughs> that is a simple question to answer. Warren would better <laughs> the living daylights out of Darren. <laughs> So, but I know they never fight, so. Exactly. But if they were to fight, which one wouldn't allow to happen, but that <laughs> one would win. And uh, Daniel Law asks, will you be planning to give some of the players a chance who, to play on the first team who played in the Essex Senior Cup on Monday night? Um, I think so, yeah. I think some of them performed very, very well. Um, uh, I'm warrant pushing for the team, but that's what we want competition for places. So, you know, if they continue to to put in performances like the other night, they'd certainly be pushing for a, for, for a place, yes. And I think your wife uh, tw tweeted us, um, Donna Burnett, he said, uh, how many times a day do you lose your keys and the remote control? Um, I don't actually, because she, she puts them away and hides them, so that's why I can never find them. Uh, she's actually um, the annoying one. And uh, uh, Patrick O'Brien said, what do you think of England's chances for the World Cup? I think they've got a chance because they're in the in the competition. Uh, I think there's probably better teams in the competition, but there's no real expectation from our nation this time. So you know, who knows? Who knows? And a Christmas-themed one from Madam Lee Pardew, who said, "What would you like to receive in your Christmas stocking?" <laughs> um, some more points. Um, no. Pants or socks that I get every year. Uh, what would I like to receive? I don't know actually. Uh, good book, I guess. And uh, Anthony Nugent asked, Chinese or Indian? Well, probably just edging it is probably Chinese, but I do like both. And um, Pantsil2000 asked, Who is your favourite wrestler? If you have one. <laughs> I like Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Do you know him? And he also asked who's the longest in the shower. The longest in the shower? Oh, I probably think that may well be Josh Scott. Speaking of him as well. <laughs> and uh, Owen Alexander asked, Do you think Luke Wilkinson will play in the Premier League one I day? hope so. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, He's progressing and developing very, very nicely. He's got all the attributes to be a very, very good football player. Who knows? Hopefully one day, yes. And uh, Anthony Nugent uh, said, what's your favourite goal Dagenham has scored while you've been the manager? There's been quite a few. I've liked a few of... Uh, Hines has scored some very good goals. The goal away from Northampton, the goal away at Hartlepool. But I think probably my, my favourite goal would be the goal against uh, Morecambe away. It was a fantastic build-up. Great individual piece of skill, fantastic cross, good run, and a very, very good finish. And uh, Greg Gregory uh, said, I just won the championship with the Daggers on Football Manager. Do you feel your job security is in danger? Possibly. <laughs> possibly. <laughs> And uh, Charlie said, did you have to think twice about taking the Dagenham job? No. And uh, Wayne Davis, I think that's, oh, he's already asked one, but he's asked another one. He said, uh, prawn sandwiches or bacon sandwiches at half time? Bacon sandwiches, without a doubt. And the, uh, Thomas Thorne asked, your favourite chant you've heard about one of our players? I'm not sure, actually. The... Uh Got a bit of a soft spot for Reese Murphy, and I hear him chanting for him, so probably, probably that one, I guess. And uh, John Paul Mikalf said AFC Wimbledon or MK Dons? AFC Wimbledon. Um, Luke Mackin, PS4 or Xbox One? PS4, I guess. Not that I play either, but. And uh, you touched on it a minute ago, but Ben Master said, uh, do you p buy players based on their FIFA ratings? <laughs> uh, no, I don't, but, you know, if I could uh, 
take one or two of them off of there, it'd be, be nice. Might try and purchase Messi or uh, Ronaldo, I guess. And uh, Mark Stringer said, what do you consider to be the best performance slash result during your reign? I think the result against Colchester was good. Uh, <clears throat> the result against Southend away was a decent result. Uh, it's probably one of those two. And uh, Billy Taylor said, which young manager under 40 working in the Football League are you most impressed by? There's a lot of managers that I think are doing very, very good jobs at football clubs uh, who probably don't get enough recognition. Um, I think uh, Dean Smith at Warsaw is doing a very, very good job. Uh, I think uh, Sean Dyche at Burnley is doing a very, very good job. You know, and I, you have to look at not necessarily clubs that are always at the top of the league because, you know, Financially, they're in a position to, to spend lots of money. So you know, sometimes I, you have to look at clubs that are, haven't got the, the same resources uh, who are doing very very well. And I think that those two are doing a very good job. I think Russell Slade, I know he's probably a little bit older than 40, but you know, doing a good job. There's a number of you know young managers out there that I think are, are doing very very well. And uh, Tony Nugent answers by email. But he said, do you regret using the word pathetic to describe, to describe our performance in your radio interview after the Wickham game recently, given that no outsider described us as anything other than good value on the day? Do you also think maybe you should be interviewed the next day in future? It's clearly in the heat of the moment. You can say some silly things. P.S. I'm your greatest fan, by the way. <laughs> that is Tony, is it? Tony Nugent, yeah. It's a, it's a good question, actually, because hindsight's a wonderful thing you know looking back Tony probably if, I, if I'm being really honest with you and myself pathetic was probably the wrong word to use because I felt we hadn't played or performed as well as I want us to and as, as, as well as everyone expects and even the players knew they hadn't performed particularly well uh, however we got a, a very very good result but you get caught up sometimes in the emotions and you know I'm so desperate for these players to do well because they're such a, a good group, a hard working group, an honest group uh, and when they don't reach the levels that I know they're capable of it can become very very frustrating. Pathetic, too strong a word to use for that performance, yeah I agree. Um, was I unhappy with a performance? Yes, I was. Was I unhappy with a result? No, I was absolutely delighted. But as I said, I you know my expectation of these players now is you know they've set standards and they've raised the bar. And I know we can't play fantastically well every week, but we can do better than we did on the day. And if I'm going to continue to make people unhappy because I want the best from them, then I'll I'll have to make people unhappy. But you know, pathetic, yeah, a little bit strong, but. You know, I demand from these players and they demand from each other.